everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 5. If you haven't catched my last video, we built this thing. I wasn't going to mention it, but I mean, it's right there. We were just working on some trees off camera. I've made one, two, and three, and a half, because, well... I've run out of leaves again. There are quite a lot of leaves used for these things, especially this one. This one's going to be the biggest of the ones I'm making, and yeah, as you can see, I've sort of run out. I'm trying to make this one similar to these ones over here, because I had a really, really good thing going on with those, but I've forgotten how to make them, and they look so good. Still, still, when, when there's something that I've built that I still look at, like, months later, and I think, you know what, that's pretty good. I have to savour it and, and use it and do it over and over again because honestly, like, there isn't a lot that, like, like this building, for example, I've sort of got over this building, I'm not as big of a fan of it and if I was to rebuild it again, I'd probably do it differently. But, uh, you know, those trees, those trees have stood the test of time, if you will, and I'm really, really digging them still and I'm sure you guys are too. So yeah, I need to get back into building those because otherwise, we're gonna have some issues, and uh, yeah, I want to add a lot more trees to the island, like a lot more than I have already, so we better get on with that. But today, however, we aren't gonna be getting on with any more trees, because I have to chop some trees down to make more trees, a little bit counterproductive it seems, but hey, uh, we need to do that in live stream, of course, as always. Anyway, so what I'm doing today instead is working on this little area. Now, you might be thinking, that's a little area, if I'll sat, you can get that done very easily, and probably, probably can, in fact, no, that's not the stuff for it. Okay, I do, do have a shulker box full of stuff for this area, because uh, I think I might have mentioned it in the episode where I did this, uh, the interior of the church over here. This is for pirates. Uh, well, not for pirates. It was never for pirates. It was obviously a well designed church, as you can see. But um, obviously the pirates have taken over. There are only two in here currently. We've got this guy over here, and we have, uh, what, are you, what are you called again? Captain Jack Shovel? Yeah, because this one, when he was in zombie form, he, he stole my shovel. I've literally had to go get a new shovel because this guy stole it. So this is this is Captain Jack Shovel. That is why he will forever be named Captain Jack Shovel. Why are you moving so fast? Speedy Gonzalez, what's going on? If we're giving him the wrong name, apparently. But yeah, these guys can't currently get out of the doors unless they get pushed. But even then, I think because it's on the doors on that side of the block, it should be okay. Like, I, I think I can get past this guy and he won't follow me. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. So to go along with that theme, I mentioned that obviously the pirates are sort of living in there. There's a bit of a living quarters. But also, I wanted them to have like a, a little campsite out here. Now, I have no idea if pirates ever had camps. I guess they probably lived more so on their ships. But if that's not the case, I'm just going to say that this was already a campsite or they found tents somewhere. I don't know, it doesn't really matter, but there's going to be little little tents there. And I'm thinking perhaps out here somewhere there will be a smaller pirate ship. Or maybe one just very, very similar to one over there so that we sort of keep the ball rolling with the pirate theme throughout. Because then, you know, then it doesn't seem too weird that I've built a pirate ship over in my dock. But uh, not only are we going to do that, we are also going to repurpose this house. And um, that's basically what we're going to do. We are actually going to repurpose this house as if the pirates have come in and sort of claimed this as their own as well and made this a pub. Yes, guys, an L house, house, a, a pub. What, what else would it have been called? A, I don't know, I, I guess ale house sort of makes more sense. I'm not actually sure. I'm going to have to look it up. But then again, I don't know what time, like what time period I'm doing this on this whole build I, I don't really have a time period it's more kind of fantasy in a way a little bit so I guess it doesn't really matter but anyway that's what we're going to be doing today I need to go get my materials as always and uh yeah they're the plans for today and I'm pretty excited I think they are going to look really cool Okay, stuff gathered, ideas uh, planned sort of in my head a little bit um, and I want to fit two tents here minimum I think I can fit one there and one there however that is quite tight now because I need one here and then one. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna fit there. Okay, I've gotta gotta do some uh, quick little tweaking here. I think, if I remember correctly, let's open that. This is possibly still Mushroom Island. It is. It's Mushroom Island Shore. And if I continue along here, Mushroom Island Shore, Mushroom Island Shore. Yeah. Okay. Mushroom Island. Perfect. So I can't actually 
make all of this mushroom island land which does mean i'll have to expand this part here in fact i need to do this bit as well let's give it a little bit of a curve going on check that that's all mushroom island sure run around like a crazy person yeah all mushroom island mushroom island mushroom island perfect great because then all i need to do now is just extend this part and we should be able to fit another tent on there right another tent's got to fit on that surely okay let me quickly let's just let's just connect this a little bit like so we'll we'll fit that all into grass and all this jazz in a second yeah but now we'll fit like a tent there and then like a tent here maybe I might need to expand it a little bit more but at least we have room that is the point. We have room now. We can actually expand this. Perfect. I think I can expand it a little bit more as well, which I might do. And then we will get to building the tents. I'm thinking these are going to be quite dark in colour. I'm either thinking brown or dark grey. I think I had a lot more dark grey sheep than I did brown. So I think we'll go with that and we'll keep the brown theme for the... Um, oh no, I've missed one. But okay, I need to fill in the underneath anyway. Yeah, so we'll do... Dark grey here, like so, and brown in there, which would be a good idea, but I don't know if I have any more dirt. I don't. Great. Okay, I've made more room. I've pushed this back a little bit. We'll have to do a little bit of terrain changes here, adding some more of the, you know, uh, all of this gubbins, all of the all of the crazy mess that is all of these random blocks that we are using, the Costa, the Podsole, all of that jazz. Um, really, really happy with that though. So let me quickly plonk my shulker boxes back down again. I picked them up and I've sort of marked out, as you can see, where I want the tents to be. <laughs> my poet and I wasn't aware. So I think we'll want them here, here, uh, here and here. These are two tents. Um, both basically the same, I think. And I want to make them sort of natural looking, which is going to be a little bit difficult, I think. Seeing as though, I mean, we haven't really got any slabs and stairs in these colours. But I think if I do something like this with the shape, we can get a little bit of a, a different shape going, I think. The only problem with this, though, is that it's not going to be tall enough inside, big enough inside. Um... Okay, I've got a better idea. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Let's do this. Let's make it bigger inside. Let's just make it bigger inside. Okay, let's go up by two on these parts. Let's go in one. <laughs> this is really difficult. Why am I trying to build a tent on camera? <laughs> this is a nightmare. Okay, so like that. Okay. Uh. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Getting a, getting a bit of a shape going. Okay. I see. I see where this is going. Is that right there? Sure, we'll go with that. And then... Uh... Then up one, I guess. Wait a second, wait a second. We will add texture to this, don't worry. It isn't going to be just like a... A, uh, an, a, a tent made out of clay. Um, that would be a little bit weird, I think. But... How much room has that got inside it? fair amount of room. I think we can probably push it back one though. Okay, yeah, let's definitely add an extra thing at the back there. Oh, but now I've lost the shape on the side. No! What's happening? Ah! Okay, I don't know what's going on. I think I've got it correct now. I think this will work. Okay, I think we need to gather up some wood though. It needs some wood structure with it and I think if I brought my... <laughs> did I bring spruce with me? I did. Did I bring any stairs with me? I did. Okay, good. Because I'll need spruce with this so that it uses the, you know, the same sort of colours as those. If I do this and that, and then... I was going to see if I could put one of these in the centre, but that might look weird. So maybe block off the end? What does... What do you think about that? I think that with some... Of the wool I wanted to bring in. Like, let's bring a little bit of texture in too. We might be able to sort of make it look a little bit tent like. Yeah, I reckon a little, a little bit of some, you know, leaves around, around it as well would be quite nice. And I think that's not a bad tent. I think I'm going to build another one of them on that area there. 
Uh, I think we need to get a campfire down as well. It's getting night time. And, um, you know what? I don't know if that's a bad idea. Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea actually saying that. No, no, no. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. False is a genius. I've just thought. I bought beds, but I can actually fit more than two beds in each one. Which would be perfect, because you don't want just two beds in a tent, do you? Oh, Stress is sleeping. Okay, that's really handy. Thanks, Stress. Thanks, Stress. She, she's, she's really good at that. She's, she's. We, we don't need B dubs anymore. We, we've got Stress to, to do the sleeping thing. Uh, can we still make bunk beds in this version? That is the question, though. To make a bunk bed, you do that. You do that, and it floats, and then you do that. Oh, yes, it does actually work. Great, I just need some more beds. <laughs> I just need some more beds. Did I bring some more beds? I bought one more bed, I think. Maybe there's another one. But yeah, dude, that looks great. Oh, I like that. Some leaves around it, and we've got a good tent there. Might get rid of that block. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll change the shape. We'll, we'll see. Let me build the other one, put a campfire down, and then I think we are... We've got a fairly okay campsite. Well, you can't tell me that this doesn't look like a really cosy campsite. It really, really does. I really love it. Um, I'm going to add a couple of chests in places. We've added a stair block there instead, so it looks a little bit better from the outside, because I flew around and it didn't look great. But anyway, now it is the campfire time. Now, I was going to make the custom one that Azuma made ages ago. I used armor stands, but I think instead this time... I'm gonna just make a very, very simple one. We can always make uh, the complicated one if it still works. That's the thing, I don't know if it still works. Now that is the center there. Okay, perfect. So let's do a very, very simple one with these. I think I wanna do it like this so it blocks the netherrack. But I wanted to give it a bit of texture, so that should work. And obviously fire spread is off, so we don't actually need to worry about this. In fact, saying that, fire spread is off. I'm hoping it's off. If it's not off, then uh, we're in some trouble. Because I want to put... There we go, I did bring some logs. Some logs to sit on. Because obviously, there's no there's no such thing as good campfire without some logs to sit on, right? So we're going to put one there. And one possibly here. That's the wrong kind of log. And I think I might put a couple in the floor. Although I don't know if they sh those should be spruce. Because obviously, I guess it would be a stump left over and obviously all the trees that are around the area are, 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 are spruce trees um or at least spruce logs so i don't know that just adds a little bit of texture yeah a little bit of texture here and there i definitely want to add some more chests around because obviously this is going to be a place where i guess they um i guess would leave their loot and stuff like that i don't have any trap chests sadly um but yeah i think that will just add like a nice little bit of detail and saying that Speaking of leaving their stuff here, if we're gonna have a ship, we need a dock or something, right? Have I got any more spruce slabs? I do. Okay, good. Uh, where do we put a dock, though? I don't really want it popping out here, because I think I want some trees along this side. Especially if I've got more mystery island to work with, I might bring this out some more. Um, I might put it this side, though? Yeah, there's plenty of room this side, and also I want that area over there to be like a little, a little way in for them and stuff for for extra, extra storage. They've got lots of storage, you know, with all their loot and their gold and everything that they're stealing. I think here's a great idea. So I think I'm going to start building one, uh, just a little baby dock, just a little really, really, really basic one, and I think this will work. We'll go with this. I think this will hopefully look cool. Maybe two, maybe even three wide, and. Yeah, just a little place where we can put some actual boats as well in the water. That would be cool. So enough of that nonsense. We are now going to be working inside. Oh my goodness, it's so loud. Sometimes the block, block noise in this game are just ridiculously loud compared to everything else. But I think that might actually be my settings. But anyway, we are actually going to start on the interior of this. We are adding a floor right now as quick as possible. Because I want to get a lot done this episode and I don't have enough time. Surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, but I want to finish up this pub uh, and I basically just got a room, just a big square room that has nothing in it to work with. So I guess uh, that's a good thing, really, because I, you know, don't have any, like, I don't know, I don't have any other rooms. Like, I can make my own rooms, uh, although there isn't a lot of space. I think I'm actually going to possibly, oh, let's grab some andesite as well. Let's finish up this real quick. 
but also I think I want to do something funky with the andesite in the floor. So I want to add like andesite in sort of broken stripes on the floor a little bit, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does make sense, but um, yeah, I kind of like that kind of idea. It's like stripes, but not. No, does that look weird? Probably. Doesn't matter, we're going to cover it over loads of stuff. So, um, I obviously need to, well, I need to fix this, obviously. But other than that, I think we're good. Oh no, we don't even have windows! Did I bring the glass? I think I did, because I, I seem to remember not having windows on this thing. Yeah, there we go. The windows are here. Someone actually told me last episode, uh, I don't know why a mushroom had grown in the window, but it had. Uh, someone told me in the comments of my last episode, oh, I need some windows up top as well. Okay, I guess we'll leave the glass on us. Someone mentioned that uh, I should you try uh, yellow glass in the lighthouse. And actually, I think that might be a nice idea, actually. So we'll, we'll try that later on if I remember. If not, I'll do it off camera. Um, and yeah, that's going to be the front door. So if that's going to be the front door, we need a sign outside as well. Now, I know for a fact that I bought these with me, grey banners, and I, I'm hoping, oh, I haven't even finished at the top, I'm not even finished at the top of the thing, <laughs> oh god, that's embarrassing isn't it, I haven't even actually finished the build yet, ah oh, this is my problem, I forgot about that completely, okay do I have dark oak, I must have dark oak just to fill that gap in right, there we go, okay, okay we, we, we can solve this, I need to go get some, uh, well I need to go to sleep for one, and also um, while I'm over there, I will grab some... Actually, you know what? Let's scrap that. Let's do something like that instead. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is where the banners are going to go. One there. One there. One there. No, not one there. Let's put that one on top and hopefully we can fit the bottom one on from down here. Can I? Yeah. Now, the only problem with this is that it looks like that from this side. It didn't really look attached, but I think it'll give the good it will give a good effect, right? Because technically you're going to be walking from this angle. You can't really see it. It's too dark. It's too dark right now. Okay, I'm going to go sleep, fix up the roof, add some windows up there, and uh, then we'll carry on with the interior. Because apparently, apparently past faults didn't do very well at actually finishing off the builds. Surprise, surprise. Oh my goodness! I just got a thing! I clicked record as soon as I could! I didn't realise I was going to get that! Dude! Oh, it doesn't say on here! Oh, I think that's number of deaths. You can tell I've been playing a, a game that involved a lot of deaths, the fact that I've got quite a lot now. Oh my goodness! Um, that's really cool! I don't know what to say! I want to thank my mum, I want to thank you guys! <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. We're going to get on with what we're doing, but that's really cool! Oh, that's that's cool. I think that's Cubs advancement. But anyway, I'm just uh, finishing off the roof as I said I would. So let me get on with this. So interior is getting started. I think what I want to do is add little, a little couple of beams. A little couple of beams. That's great English, false. My English is really bad today. Like I'm, I'm just making mistakes all over the place. But I don't really care today. I'm I'm in that mood where I'm like, you know what? Stuff it. If I say something wrong, I say something wrong right now. Is that in the right place though? I don't know because I am wanting to make like a floor and a half floor. Okay, my plan is right. Let's actually I think that's in the middle of the room. Yeah, that's in the middle of the room. Okay, so I sort of want a floor Possibly Here is that the right spot for it though? It's very, very hard to see through here though. And I don't want to put like fences all the way down because then that just looks weird, let's say. Um, like that sort of works. Did I bring any cobblestone with me? Cobblestone walls, perhaps? I think I did, cause, yes, because I wanted to put uh, torches on them but I decided to put them on fences instead. Um, yeah, this might work. Wait a second. Better, possibly. Now I know that I definitely bought ladders because I knew that I couldn't fit uh, stairs in here at all if I wanted to make a full, um, a full-blown pub. Yeah, this works. That's enough room for up here, right? And it doesn't block off too much. The problem is now, where do we put the bar? Do we put it upstairs or do we put it? down the bottom. Now do I have any half slabs that are... I do, dark oak half slabs. This is why you always bring stairs and half slabs already made with you when you work on projects, because honestly it saves so much time. 
So let's add a bit of a floor up here. And then I don't know if I've got fences. I want to do fences like I did before where I used gates instead. I do, I have the gates on me, okay, good. Uh, this is my new favorite way of doing fences, by the way, is just by using gates. I use them in the dock area over over there somewhere. Okay, so the only problem now is that we've got these like walls that look, look really odd. Can I just like fill it in? It looks very... Mm. No, because then what do I do over there? Uh, this is the problem with interiors when you've just done the exterior and then not really thought about the interior. Uh, you have issues like this one. I did bring some wool as well, didn't I? Yeah, so we can sort of mix that in. I didn't bring any of the, the concrete powder, but that's fine. We'll, we'll pretend we didn't need that uh, for anything. Um, I don't know if I want to do it. That. It looks very, very pale up here now, though. That's the problem. I guess I can add windows, but I think the windows actually need to go here, though. Is that going to look weird if windows are, like, on the floor? Mm, probably not. I'm going to say that looks okay. It brings some light in, actually, up here as well. But anyway, let's have a quick look at what that looks like from down here. Okay, we're definitely going to need to hide this, though. Definitely needs to hide uh, those white areas. Other than that, though... That looks pretty good. It's very cramped. But other than that, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, we just need to figure out this area. It's very messy otherwise. So, I'm going to be doing something special here. This is something that I've been holding on to for a while, and it has something to do with the beds. Now, we need to figure it out, though, first. I'm going to put one there. Oh, dude, and also, I didn't know the beds were bouncy. Have you guys seen this? I, I'm sure you have. I'm sure it's just me being an absolute noob, but look. Wee! I can bounce on the bed. It's so cool. It's so cool. But anyway, I'm gonna put two beds there and there. I'm gonna dig up the floor a little bit. I need to actually put a little dark oak thing there because otherwise that's gonna look a little bit naff uh, if I don't do that. There we go. Uh, we need to gather up the these guys right here. Perfect. I'm glad I put them together. Nope. They need to go down one more. Hopefully there's no hole in the floor. Good. We're fine. Haven't fallen into my death or something weird. Uh, I'm going to put piston there, piston there, table and chairs. Or, or benches, I guess I should say. Now, this works for a multitude of reasons. I've literally come up with multi multiple reasons for this. Or like an, some good excuses, I guess I should say. And that is one... I mean, with, with this, I mean, they sort of work as benches. They're brown. You know, that sort of works. Um, also, what's nice about this little area is I can actually do that on that side too. That side, I think I might just put like a little... Have I got a bit of oak? Let's put a little bit of oak because then it's the same colour as the signs. It sort of works. Sort of works very, very slightly. Um, doesn't matter too much. Doesn't matter too much. But also, what's nice about this is that... If people look at these and go and, you know, don't use their imagination very much and kind of go, oh, well, they're just beds, I can be like, well, the pirates came in, this was this used to be a house, they stole all the beds and made them into benches, so, you know, it sort of works, it sort of works, but um, that's where that is going to be. I think that it might be quite nice to put and use, use this little area here, have I got on it any, any more stairs have i got any let's get rid of that bed i don't want that anymore have i got any more stairs i do okay so the new spruce in here i think because that's going to match the beds close close enough it's close enough it doesn't matter too much where are my signs gone did i put the signs away as well probably uh so we're going to continue with the signs on everything and because i've used up this space this space here is what's left oh that's my sugar cane farm going off oh no that's my pumpkin farm i think i think the bar though we might have to put it right here, and I don't know if there's enough room for it. Oh, that blocks us. Oh, no, it blocks the ladder. I reckon if I have that open, people can still get up there. Yeah, yeah. Then I don't need a uh, trap door anywhere. Uh, we can put, like, a little stair here instead so it's got a little bit of a stand. And then... We'll just put that back for now because I don't have one on me. And then... Have I got any stone brick slabs? Dude, the, the one thing that annoys me about hanging out here is this portal. It makes so much noise. Let me try something real quick. Let's try adding a couple of... Now, do I make... Oh, no, there's windows there. I can't add another... <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, that might have to work. Okay, let's try that out real quick. Like so. Because, you know, you need these in a pub, right? 
Uh, let's add that there. Yeah, that works. I even bought some potions with me because I, I can't stand brewing stands without actual potions in them. Uh, they just look too odd. So let's sort of add, you know, a little, little one in there. I like that you can also decide where it, you, where you want it. I want it on that side, you know. Let's put this one uh, there. No, <laughs> not on the floor. Let's not do that. That's what the locals will do or the, or the pirates will do. They'll chuck loads of potions on the floor. Then they go in different colours as well. That looks really cool. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is actually cut now to, oh, I forgot, I'm also gonna add a light at the top. I don't think I have any sea lanterns on me, though. I added this little fence that I thought might be okay. I don't think I can reach it right now. But, um, to put a light off of, maybe. I think this is gonna work. Okay, my plan is now to put a couple more benches and tables like this upstairs, fit as many spaces as we can up, up there, put some, maybe some chests down to sort of, go with the theme that they took the stuff and reappropriated it to to fit the pub theme and maybe some pressure plates maybe some cobwebs yeah we're just going to refine this area and make it look like a better pub and also saying that i've got the flag on this side or that that little thing this side why not put it this side too is there room oh yeah i've even put i even forgot that i put the the the, the fences there okay i need some more banners then let's get going Guys, guys, guys! I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we are done. I'm so happy with it. I'm actually uh, really impressed. I do think I need like a sign. Have I got a sign on me? I do. What do we name this pub? Uh, I guess since the pirates named it, um, a pirate name would be good. Oh, does it look weird not having? You know what? Let's 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 add a couple little extra things. I can't seem to my 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 wings keep like going off even though I'm like not doing anything and I don't know if it's because I'm lagging or I'm just pressing space too much. But um let's maybe do a little bit of that and maybe one over here as well. Since this is actually the entrance, I'd never planned for this side to be the entrance. It was always the other side, but you know that that pond got in the way. Now, let's have a bit of a tour, shall we? Look at it. Oh, I'm actually saying that if anyone's got a double a double banner design that might work as well. Let me know. I don't know if you can make double banner designs that will work for a pub. But um but yeah, sure. I guess some sort of pirate theme for that too, possibly. Anyway, you guys are great at that. So let's open up. Names are welcome too. Uh and here we go. Obviously, I accidentally dropped that. But look, I've sort of tried to fit as much detail as in as possible to the small area and make it very pub-like. Like I don't want you to mistake it for anything else. And I think I've got it pretty accurate. I feel like there are things possibly missing, but I, I also just think it this will do, you know? Like, I didn't want to spend too much time on interiors, but I feel like this one's important, you know? I'll leave the door open as well. Maybe I can put, like, a villager in here as well. Once we get all the pirates in here, and pirates being villagers, it'll look good, won't it? I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. I think it looks really good. And I'm really happy with this area as well. It looks really cosy. So much so that I think that I would like to spend the evening in a tent. Maybe not when the fire is so dangerous as that. I don't even know how I managed to do that. But that was pretty impressive. But anyway, guys, that is probably it for the episode. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think of my pub and the tents. Bit of a random combination there. But there's still sort of a story going along with it. So I'm going to pretend that that works. Uh, but anyway, that is it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.